Guys, it's Sam with 5 Minute Art Secrets, where you do an entire painting in 5 minutes. Tonight, we're going to make an awesome black and red contrast painting. And here it is. black and red abstract paintings. They're very cool, they're very modern, very abstract, they'll fit into any home decor. It's easy. All you need are colors red and black. You need a palette to put the colors on. And then for the white, I use puffy paint or fabric paint, where you can get it at any local craft store or even at Walmart. That gives it some added texture and some added interest for the viewer. Okay, so let me grab my stuff and then we'll get started. Now, for you viewers at home, you probably want to grab a pencil, but I'm going to get a sharpie just so you can see my lines better whenever I start painting. Now, first of all, what you want to do is sketch out your lines. Some of you more advanced artists might not want to do this, but I think this is great for just about anybody. Make sure you have your pencil at home. Now, you're just going to sketch out your shapes. Now, these are going to be the black background shapes that you saw in the back of our abstract whenever we first started. And this can be messy. It really doesn't matter. So, just sketch those out really quickly, and then we can get started painting. And remember, abstracts are organic. They're all different types of shapes. So, if you don't want to draw the same type shape I did, it's completely fine for you to do whatever you feel comfortable with. Now, what you want to start off doing is getting your black paint. So, you just dip your brush. I like about a two inch brush, but it really doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. You'll dip it in your black, and you'll just start painting inside of your shapes that you drew. And abstracts can be messy. You don't have to stay inside the line. So, you should feel comfortable. Rather than actually washing out your paintbrush, just get a napkin. This is a great tip. It's going to make the red and the black combine and look more abstract. So don't wash out your brush. Just get any old napkin and just wipe off your brush. You want to keep some black in it. Then you go back to your red paint. And it's okay if in your palette you mix the two. That's completely fine. You actually want that. Then you just start filling in the background spots, the spots that are supposed to be red. See, it doesn't matter if you overlap. That's actually what you want. So you're just doing all these background shapes. And if you feel like your red is getting a little bit maroon, you can go back to your napkin and just wipe out a little bit more of the black. And make sure that instead of just painting up and down, you go horizontally as well as vertically. If you're impatient like I am, you want to get everything done as fast as possible. So, just get out your blow dryer and go at it. In about 10 minutes, it'll be finished. And we're dry. Now, after you come back from drying your canvas, you want to clean out your brush and get a clean powder. Now, as you can see, my colors look a little bit maroon, and I want them to be a little bit more red. So, I'm just going to get my paintbrush in the red, and then you're just going to start painting. Now, once you finish the red, we'll switch colors and we'll paint the black again. Okay, so when you're finished with the red, then you'll go back over the black. And go crazy with it, have fun. Again, you want to overlap the colors, just like I'm doing there, and make sure that you're painting horizontally as well as vertically. Just like a fast, crispy motion. Now, after your canvas is dry, spray some puffy paint into a clean palette and get a circular object. I'm just using a household cup. Don't get in your paint. And then, you can place it anywhere you want on the canvas. I'm going to place mine. And then dunk it again. And get your knife. And you can move it around. That makes it more abstract. Alright? Now, I'm going to get a larger circular object. I'm going to use a household bowl. But you can use whatever you want. 
So you just want to dunk this item in your paint just like you did the cup. And don't worry, this paint's washable. Dunk it good in the paint. Then you're just going to squish it onto your canvas just like so. There we go. Now, the last part is we're going to add lines with fabric paint. So you'll need to get a ruler and your fabric and or puffy paint. And then I'll just draw a line. And just get down another. And then you'll just repeat the process all the way down the canvas or as far down as you want to go. Really, it's up to you. Okay? After a little while, you might have to wash off your ruler just to make sure that your lines stay consistent. You want to make some long, some short. It's completely up to you. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. And remember, this is just a technique. So if you do this a hundred different times at home, it's going to come out a hundred different ways. I'd love to see your video responses, so make sure that you post those below. Also, please come and check out my website. It's 5minuteartsecrets.com. Bye, guys. And the great thing about abstracts is that you really can't mess up. Just have fun, do whatever. That's the great thing about abstracts. <laughs> I think I said, that's the great thing about abstracts like three times.